Welcome back to What's New. Time to see what's clicking in Cleveland. And for that, we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Betsy. Hello, Jay. And this first story here is something that I think surprised a lot of people because a former basketball teammate of LeBron James is in some pretty serious trouble with the law. Former St. Vincent St. Mary High School and University of Akron basketball star Romeo Travis pleaded guilty <laughs> yesterday. The charges were federal felony charges of conspiracy to defraud the U.S. and conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Prosecutors say he underreported income from playing basketball overseas so he could pay less taxes and have lower child support payments. Now he could spend time in prison. His sentencing date has not been set yet. All right, switching gears. It's spring break and the airport is showing it. Cleveland Hopkins International Airport is warning travelers to expect long lines and limited parking from now until the end of April. Basically, they're saying if you pass through the terminals, get there early and maybe think about getting a ride to drop you off rather than leaving your car at the airport. They're expecting about 800,000 passengers to pass through during spring break 2023, and that's 50,000 more than last year. Bit of a jump. Okay, now, from our question of the day, we asked you, what's the last film or play that you saw this year? And so let's go to our first response, which is coming up from our What's New Facebook page, that the Crawdad, where the Crawdads sing is one of the movies. And Jan White says that's the best movie that she has seen in a very long time. Wow. Our next response comes from Rita Pullen, says Mrs. Harris goes to Paris. Adorable. That's another one. So cute. Oh, have you seen it? So cute, yes. Wow, okay. It's adorable. Okay, so we got a lot of great responses as well on the WKYC Facebook page. One of them that someone recently saw was Come From Away, and I have to tell you this story. This is an incredible musical performance, award-winning across the board at many different award ceremonies. So this is the story, Jay and Betsy, of this small town, Newfoundland, and it's where 7,000 passengers were stranded over the horrific time that was 9-11. And the staging to this performance, oh. I have to tell you, is just, it's absolutely incredible. It's one stage the entire time. No kidding. They're moving. The characters are played multiple characters by the same actors. Incredible performance. And I'm raving about this, by the way. It's coming to Playhouse Square in July. If you do not have a ticket oh. yet, oh my gosh. It, so you've seen it. I have seen it. I've seen it twice. It's one of the only theatrical productions that I've actually seen a couple times. And the second time I saw it, even better than the first. Wow. Why no marks? C come, come from away. Come from away. I remember that story mm -hmm. when that happened. And it'd be cool to see, you know, how they put that into musical form. Oh yeah. Very just good. The actual human stories and it's it's centered around some real things that happen to these people. It's just incredible. All right. Thank Look you, Stephanie. Look forward to that. That's July. That is in July, yes. Very good. Good to know. Thank you so much.